We want to take you to a place where Hispanic heritage meets the cultural history that is California. But in order to understand that connection, we have to take a step back to a time before California was even a state. Before traffic congested our freeways, before silicon entered our valleys, California breathed cultural connections. Native Americans traversing what would become the Golden State met with European settlers in the 1500s, which led to Spanish explorers and Franciscan missionaries in the 1700s. Welcome to our reference library. Monica Orozco is the director of the Mission Archive Library at the Old Mission Santa Barbara. No matter where you're from in California, it's here where our shared history and culture collide. Everything is in here. Everything is in here. Orozco looks at the mission system in California as a modern day Google for information from the way each mission was built by the hands of the native people. When you look at a California mission, you'll see a combination of cultures, this connection of cultures coming together. To the very road, you'll find each of the 21 missions connect El Camino Real, nowadays often marked with these bells, and for the most part, traveling along the 101 freeway. Each mission built a day's horse ride away from the next. The idea was that the land would be held in trust and when no longer needed would be turned back over to the native peoples. But when Mexico won its independence from Spain in 1821, Native Americans lost out. Mexico sold the mission lands to private owners, all but one, Old Mission Santa Barbara, known as the Queen of the Missions. One of the things we strive to do is to acquire, conserve, and then as much as possible allow access to this material so we can continue to tell the story of early California, of Hispanic California. And for the first time, so this is our vault, and this is where we keep many of our precious things. We got to see a unique piece of California history just before California became a state. What you see on this map are the pencil marks where those, at, those people at the Constitutional Convention were deciding on where the early counties of California were going to be. This is the actual map this that is the they used yep. to draw, hand right. draw the, the counties. Right. Hand drawn. Even back then you can see the Hispanic influence in the names and places, but still very different to present day California. This is the original division. And you can see where Los Angeles County is and how far it extended. And you can see there are fewer counties then there, than there are now. For example, there's no Ventura County. No. There's no Orange County. No. I don't see Riverside. No. And there's more. This one's very special for us here in this community. If you were in the fourth grade in California, you know the story of the Island of the Blue Dolphins. But what you may not know is the fictionalized account is based on a true story. Um, in the book, it's a nice happy ending. She gets rescued. Everybody lives happily ever after. In real life, not so happy a story. Um, she actually dies a few weeks later. Housed in the Mission Archives, inside this Sacramento register of burials is the proof of the one woman left behind on the island of San Nicolas, her death certificate. And so you can see she was baptized Juana Maria, it says Indian adult, on the 19th of October, 1853, that they buried uh, a woman um, that they had been um, transferred from the island of San Nicolas to here. As volunteers attempt to preserve the foundations of California's history, digitizing documents and photographs for another generation to inherit, we get to experience the then, now. This is an antiphonal or hymnal. Or the beauty of the past. This is about the Assumption of Mary. And you can see the beautiful illumination. That is definitely done by hand. This is. Uh, art, just it's just painted art. Right on. Yeah, painted right on the page, and it's uh, it. You can see it's accented with gold. Remains still beautifully kept today. So you're saying this is the original mission over here? Father Larry Gosselin took us into the main church. History is very, very important to continue to preserve for the preservation of our future as well. And so to preserve history is to preserve our future, to look into our future. Here, our histories and cultures connect each of us. It's part of the wonderful legacy of Hispanic California. And turn our eyes to the future. To keep us aware of what we have accomplished and what we hope to still accomplish. From all that history now back into the present day, the Mission Archive Library survives by donations and grants alone. It is its members and its volunteers that really keeps all of this history alive, connecting all of us to the past and the future all in one place.